ourselves. So take your seat. Uh, if you look, look at your papers, you should see all oh, there are some issues written at your back. Everybody should have some feedback. Make sure you work on that. Because then if you have confusion, you can come and talk to me. Uh, there are some of some of the actually do a good thing about the same of you. You didn't really write anything. Yeah. So if you don't write anything, how can I give you feedback? So from now on, try to write so that I can give you feedback. Clear? And regarding the feedback, if you have questions, look at the feedback first. Do you think you agree with them or you do it? Look at them. Do you agree with them? Everyone or if you know? So do you remember what we started in the last class? What did we do last class? Well, that's yeah. like sentence. 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 Or else you have the chance to come in today to get the attendance for the last class. So after you. There are some students who have come to Yes, but they were supposed to. Maybe Baba could have Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you have today to do that. That's what I said. Jeff today. So today we will be looking at one of the topic, paraphrase, quote, and summarize. So are you familiar with the term stars? This Yeah, I talked about it a little bit, but today we are going to discuss about it. Okay. Uh, first of all, why do you need them? Or where where do they fit in our academic writing? So these are all elements of our academic writing that you are going to write on the Daniel book for the farm paper as well for the semester. But now you will need to know how to paraphrase. As I said before, that for your farm paper, for your research, you're going to read a lot of different genres. What's wrong? Why do you keep smiling on it? <laughs> so you, know, you are aware of that, right? So for example, you are uh, working on a uh, food industry. Uh, like somebody, you probably have the topic that uh, restaurant food is not really good and food that you shouldn't get it. If you're working on that, for example, you need to look at some of the journals, some of the other researchers who work on it and take some data from them as well. So now, what your tendency is, just copy paste their thoughts, right? I mean, Ali Barak has spoken both ways, I'm standing up. I'm the writer, but you are not the writer. You can use the writer's thought, but there are some ways. Those ways, of course, you mentioned their name, and there are some certain ways to actually, how you can take them from the resources. That's what we're going to learn in the text. Um, so as I said, paraphrasing, coping, and summarizing are all different ways of integrating or using ideas from academic sources in your own thing, into your own paper. Uh, referring to reliable sources have provided evidence. So what happens, uh, for example, if I'm working on a, a project on food industry, if I say that I believe this is, uh, this is a better way, do you think this is more acceptable or if I think that there are 100 other researchers who work on it and found out, yes, homemade food is better? Do you, do you think which one is uh, more acceptable? Second one. Second one. Why? Because I know there are some research done, 100 other people actually talked about it, or maybe one really famous person who does a lot of research, he talked about it. So I'm going to believe am I going to buy the Palo? Practically I'm going to there is this famous person, famous journal, famous researcher, who he found out 
talk of the more reliability that you can use as your example. You can use that as your uh, data. So data collect for a driver. So you can use that as your data. You need both. So I'm a major chapter. So for I'm a character will be stronger. On the other hand, uh, researcher actually research for a day for a day. So, OJ always have a plate of a stronger culture. If I check, and last semester, what you did, you did everything by your own, like you believed it. Yeah. But this semester, we are not going to just rely on yourself, we are going to rely on the other researchers. And also, you have to give them credit for you, their work as well. So we learned that. Now let's see the difference between them. So there are three terms, paraphrasing, quotations, and summarizing. You're probably familiar with the term quotations and summarizing, right now? So what is paraphrasing? So when you want to use a broader section of a source text, so you have a text with text at the section you want to use. That is paraphrasing. On the other hand, quotation if you check a specific section, I am not completely useful. I am going to part use quotation, I completely whatever the writer said, word by word, I am shittai jokulinti, that is our quotation. And on the other hand, summarizing, you have a broad over, you have a broad text, now you are writing an overview of the text. Okay, I a short version linti, that is our summary. So do you understand the paraphrasing and summary in the general difference? Paraphrasing is a small section, the in the sentence. Okay, you are going to change the words and write into your words. And summarizing, you have a whole text. You have to find out the key points of the text and write that. So summarizing, I mean, key points are very for to summarize for you. On the other hand, paraphrasing, I'm not looking for the keywords. I mean, pura for oh, whatever is purpose, shetake, I'm going to change into my words. Kipi, you have to still give them credit. But to the Akna need your opinion now. As long as it's not your opinion, you have to give them credit. When you are giving your opinion, there is Akna going to credit much. I mean, I know the whole paper is yours, so that's your credit. But Jokuni Akna paper, after checking any elements from other researchers, you have to give them credit. So it is necessary to rewrite that section of the source in your own words. I'm not going to talk to you. You need your words in the other. So you have to rewrite that section. On the other hand, quotations are exact words. Whatever they say, exactly what I live on. Quotation marks and what I Remember that. You have to use that quotation marks as well. And a summary should be written in your own words again. So paraphrasing and summary, there are similarities with the summary, also your own words. Only quotation, so quotation are, we always think when I'm saying quotation, it means that a famous person is saying something famous. It doesn't have to be a moral. Whatever the researcher is saying, if you completely copy paste that, that's when you have to uh, you are doing quotations. It's not Jamaki Shoda Shukrakata Golgo, that's a quotation. And that is also a quotation. But then, whatever the research is saying, if you are copying the exact word, changing nothing, that's a quotation. Clear? And then also, paraphrasing, you must include in text citation. What is in text citation? We will learn that is a whole lot of different things. So we will learn that. Uh, in a different class. Uh, in the quotation, also you have to index citation so that you give credit to the actual researcher. And also summarizing, again you have to do the index citation. So, make sure you are giving the credit, you are doing the index citation. Uh, and then paraphrasing, of course, it's a little bit shorter than what the writer wrote. Quotation is short work, you should write because the voice, the writing style, everything is copied. And summarizing is usually, of course, shorter than the text. Yeah, what is summary? So today we we'll just learn how to do summary. So, what is summary? I mean, we you probably did it when you were a kid, right? You were pretty used to writing summary. So, what is a summary? So, what areas will you when we are making a summary? We're writing a summary. 
let it be just his idea ठीक है ना you have the tendency of putting your ideas your judgment everywhere do not do that when you summarize it ठीक है ना and then try to use linking words so summarizing is a short piece of writing shri kanama ka one when you have to include a lot of information you better use linking words we know linking words right conjunctions linking sentences try to include them so that it's easier to write a long sentence that's when the complex sentence comes into the place you know how to write a complex sentence you know how to put a lot of information together in one sentence so that's how you can write long sentences also uh, you can start if the author goes on to argue the author believes the author thinks instead of uh, so you won't really struggle to find the first sentence so i mean to fill it the author believes that the author goes on to argue that the author argues that and remember to include citation so there is an example uh, you know of Okay. Uh, a slide I'll be putting on the Facebook because today we'll do some other work. So you are supposed to summarize this. Okay, sir. You're supposed to summarize this at home. So you see, this is the link. A link to together you find this. This is what we call inside uh, index citation. That the name of the writer, when he published it, what page it, you're going to find it. But how to do this, we we'll learn it in a different class. But uh, just forget about it for now, and let's forget about the content. So this you're going to go and working on this, or you can bring it in the next class. Okay, so if you find or liking in the Facebook is difficult, bring it in the next class. So if you want to take a picture, you can take a picture as well. About I'll, I'll post it as well. Okay, so this will be homework. But today we'll do some other work, uh, summarizing as well. So Shubha, do you mind passing them? So keep one and bring them the rest.
Amen. And more things. In the spring week, it is women rather than men who apply for divorce. Seven out of ten divorces are given to the wife. Also, one of the main reasons for divorce chosen by ten times more women than men is unreasonable or cruel behavior. For us, this means that women will tolerate less than things. Excellent. We understand what he's talking about. So I'm going to read it once more for you. So as to this bride and groom celebrate the wedding, they have ever sorry, every excuse for being nervous. They exchange promises of fine of dignity and mutual support. However, all around them they can see that many people do not cannot keep their promises. Their own marriage has one in three chances of divorce if the present and this continues. So in the first paragraph, they're talking about the fear. So they talk about the new, uh, they have a husband and wife, they have the fear of exchanging promises. Why? Because the tendency of taking divorces are rising high. So that's what the first paragraph is talking about, right? In the second paragraph, traditional marriage is facing a crisis, at least in Britain. So we see there is a place mentioned, we have to mention that as well, that Britain, so at least in Britain, not only are there more and more divorces, but the number of marriages falling. So for in the first one, we just talk about the marriage, but now we're going to have another part. Living together is more popular than before. So we have another key issue here. So we have fear of divorce, and now we have living together. It's been popular, uh, bef uh, popular than before. Family is now no longer one man, one woman, and their children. Instead, they're having more families. So they're having half sisters, they're having uh, step sisters. So do you understand the difference between half sister and a step sister? A half sibling and the other step sibling? There are a huge difference between them. So what's the difference? It's split in English. So which one is step sister? First talk about the step one. Step one is that uh, if my father or mother get married with another one and they uh, born a new child, then he is my step uh, uh, half brother. He is your half brother. Half, half brother. So if at least you have one half parent one in common, parent. that's your half uh, sibling. But if your mother gets or your father both gets married to a different person and they have, have another friend. she or he has a child from his previous marriage. Yes. So there is no blood no connection with that, right? Yes. So that's a step <coughs> So you're clear about half sisters and uh, step sisters. So when you're taking divorces and marrying again, you are having half sister, also you're having the uh, step siblings as well. So families are getting bigger. So we are talking about that the families are getting bigger. We are not really talking about that. Yes, we are having a lot of children and have a big family. It's just because you are from the broken family, you are you have some siblings from the previous marriage as well. You tell us you guys are newly married. You are having kids again. Uh, it's a whole lot of different uh, big family. Yeah, it's not funny though. You see, you cannot put your judgment here, and it's uh, as I said. So when you're going to summarize, you're going to talk about it, but you're not putting your judgment. So even we are laughing about it, and there's nothing to laugh at first, and then you can't put your you know, judgment on it. So the second paragraph, what we talk about, we have a new issue that living together is being very popular. In the third paragraph, what we're talking that Britain is still conservative. So we know that in Britain, uh, they don't prefer living together, they do they actually prefer you know going to charge and getting married. These are, they are very conservative country uh, compared to US Sweden. So in US you are trying to live together, try to so why people live together so that they can explore whether this is the right person. So as you can also see in the first they said they are uh, they have the fear of have promises. But when you are in a living together relationship not have any commitment. So if things doesn't work out, you just walk out. 
of the relationship. When you are married, you cannot work out. That's what they're talking about. You have the fear of divorce. You have fear of the uh, you know, get, taking promise, the promise, promise the affair later you are committed. That's why uh, living together is being popular. And in the last part, they said the women are asking for more divorces than the men. Why? Because at one point, you can, we used to see that the women were more tolerant. They actually took a lot of abuses. But nowadays, they are not being that tolerant. They're not taking abuse. And they're filing for the divorce. I'm not saying the women are the only victim. Men are also, men can also be the victim of this torture. But in our society, we see that men have, men have the main people. They hardly admit that yes, they are being tortured. They find, I have seen a lot of men actually being tortured physically and emotionally, but they do not go to, they, they, are, they are afraid of admitting that. Damn it, from that. Why would I even admit that I'm being tortured? Right. That's what they do not go, they don't have the tendency. Whereas women are more vocal about their rights, so they do go to the courts and take the divorces. So there are four points here. First point that fear of taking promises. Why? Because there is a fear of divorce. Divorce getting higher. On the other hand, what's getting higher as well? Living together is getting higher as well. And then we're saying that women are asking for more divorces because they're being less tolerant. Yeah, they are not taking the unreasonable behavior. So I gave you a word limit of 50 words, maximum. So you are, you have to summarize this text in 50 words. Start. Yeah, so chapter key points quality, you have to touch those key points. Usually two sentences is perfectly fine to summarize this text. So just two sentences. You can summarize the problem. So, yes. You are going to write two or three sentences to summarize this whole text. There are four points. One is there is fear of taking promise, divorce is getting high, uh, living together is getting higher, and also women are asking for the divorce. So you have to touch these four points and summarize. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Remember, you have a word limit, maximum 50 words.
Is there anything mentioned about arranged marriage here? Uh, the tradition of marriage. Uh, you said arranged marriage. Traditional means arranged marriage. You can have a love marriage and still have a traditional marriage. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so there is nothing mentioned about the arranged marriage. So let's not talk about the uh, arranged marriage. So you can just write the consolidated marriage, that's still fine. Okay. But the author didn't mention anything about that. Also, you don't have to mention at the very beginning of the text the author does a lot more unnecessary words. You can just say the author mentioned that uh, we don't need whether it's at the beginning or the end. Okay. Who else wants to share? I've 
sick people, so there is a need after science. So, they go. So, for our son, our batsman, what they used to do, they just wrote something, needed to take and then they did a wrong one. False citation. But if the teacher actually tried to look into you, you cannot find them. I mean, for the completely false reason, you won't touch it. So, I mean, our need to know them, but I mean, actually, not the one they need to do. So, it's more valuable. But I mean, you get a good study. If I cannot find it there, then I will find that it's a false uh, you know, citation. Right? No worry, I'm not doing that at the moment, but that's why you need to be look careful. Please. <coughs>
from each operator we say this block would be where it access to. Clear? It's just one or two sentences should summarize this properly. Okay? So, in the next class, we'll do some live work because last class we had a bit of sentence structure and community work. At least today, again, a little bit of heavy work. So, next class,